and it's finally here. This is the Boba Fett premium format figure by Sideshow Collectibles. Uh, this is the regular edition. Um, and finally, Sideshow have put these little uh, polystyrene corners on the box. So the box is a bit bigger, so it's a lot easier to get this out. I didn't turn into a, a raging beetroot trying to struggle with the bag. Uh, this is number 1202 of 2500. First thing I've got to say about that is this, this was meant to come out in December. I have seen already the exclusive of people who did get theirs in December. So I'm a bit disappointed that Sancho took so long to get this out. And the other thing is, is I'd already, I was on a payment plan. And I believe the people that paid for it in one hit got theirs first. And that shouldn't be the case. You already have my money, Sancho. I deserve this before the people haven't paid anything. So now that that's out of the way. Box. Eh, pretty plain. Pretty plain for a Star Wars piece. But it is a low... Uh, low edition size and I guess the box isn't too bad uh, let's just cut it so I can get all this out okay I thought about with the tape and undone it all so it's the right way up let's get it open and oh tapes in this side so just be wary of that if you think where's the cape gone it's in this side oh god this is a big one okay let's get the base out first Ooh, careful. Ooh, right. When you get the base out, be careful because it does fill in the lung balance to start off with. Okay, nice and easy. We're in no rush. So, okay, has the base. It's meant to be a piece of best bin. And let's have a look at the underside. Oh, that's nice. There you go, numbers match. Very, very nice. We've got our little velvet feet. And so I pop that down. And there's a hole for a peg and the other hole. So let's get onto his body. Okay. Very careful, very careful. Okay. I mean, there is a lot of bits on this. I mean, just looking at it, it is a really, really nice sculpt already. And <laughs> so I've done it again. These are proper trousers. We've got proper, the little leather bits there for his gun. It's just an amazing, amazing job they've done here. All right, well, let's get him on the base. Because... Uh, Holding him like this, it's making me nervous. Okay. Um, now, so the peg's there, and the other peg's there. So I don't know. Let's have a look. All right, we're gonna cut the cut the sets just while I work this out. We've got the pipe, which I presume leads to his favorite. We've got his knife blades. These are the braided Wookiee uh, scalps he has round him. Very nice. I mean, that is wonderful. From what I've seen already, it's been well worth the wait. You know, he's in his man Mandalorian armour. Okay. Try to work out what bit goes next. I think we'll go with the jetpack. Okay. Hmm. And here's the chat back. Look at the weathering down there. That is wonderful. Of course, that in the film of... I think it was episode 2 of Attack of Clones. Django used a rocket, which was attached to Magna. You see, Boba Fett is Django Fett's son. And his armor's pretty much the same. So that... Is... Not magnetised, I don't think. And... Uh, right, let's have a look see how it goes. Uh, Alright, uh, I'm going to cut while I work this out because I'm going to take the time. Here's the cape. Look at that weathering on the bottom there. It's like it's actually been in a battle. Really nice. Really nice uh, felt or fabric anyway. And there's a, a little hole up here. 
which I presume it just plugs in. So let's have a look. Do it nice and gentle, you know, with these sort of things, take your time, no need to force stuff. Um, <laughs> oh, you know, you, you wait for all these months, you get so excited if you've got to resist the urge to shove everything in each hole. You know, just, there we go. Okay. Now, I presume that's it. I've probably done it slightly wrong at the moment, but we're just trying to get everything... Yeah, I have done that wrong, haven't I? Yeah, I expect to go up more towards the back, but I will sort that out in a sec. Okay, let's go with uh, the gun next. I think that's sort of the way to go. Uh, and obviously, Sideshow doesn't come with instructions on this. There's the gun, the gun hand. Paint works nice. You got the, you actually got a proper little strap, look at that. That is a proper little leather strap for it. That is really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, so this um, goes. Uh, I don't know how it's going to. Oh, that's it. It goes like that. And then. Uh, let's try and work out how this goes. Um, well, there's a definitely a hole in there, I know that. <laughs> okay, so that just slots in like that. Uh, there, is, there is no magnet, okay, so it's, it is one of those you've got to push in a bit. There we go. And, um, yep, that's in. Good, okay. What's next? All right, let's go with. Wow. Okay, <laughs> there is light and then there's light. His head is articulated, but that is really light. I, mean, I think that's plastic. I made the entire head out of plastic. Okay, so that's really simple. It goes in there and it is poseable. No magnet again. So <laughs> the moment he just looks like he's staring down going, mm, look, what's down there? Alright, and we've got a couple of other bits in here, and I've got to work out what they're for. So, uh, alright, so we're going to cut here so I can just get these bits out. Oh, there we go. Attached the bit on the base, there's another piece of Bespin. The exclusive comes with a different gun, it's the gun from episode 6, which we don't talk about because it really ruined Boba Fett, the way they killed, tried to kill him off. Yeah, JJ Abrams, bring back Boba Fett. I know you can do it. Bring him back. The extended universe did, so do it. Bring him back. Because this is just too much of a cool character not to be in Star Wars. And I'm just fucking about with other bits. It's a wonderful piece. I mean, the head, I was expecting it to be a bit more solid. Uh, it's got a bit of a sort of kinder egg. So you know the little toy bit, the little plastic bit with the Kinder Egg sort of feel to it. But the paintwork is amazing. I'm going to have you look up a little bit more. The gun, uh, the head is fully articulated. Um, it does, it's a bit stiff, so you've got to give it a bit of uh, work. Yeah, let me show you. It's got one of these sort of things in it. Just a ball joint. It is, as you can see, it's pretty stiff. It does, it does actually move, but it is very stiff to do so. There you go. And then you can uh, change his head, so he's sort of looking over a bit. You can't tilt his head right up, or I haven't been able to at the moment. Yeah, look, see if I can do it. Mm, no. So that's about the the limit of what you're going to get. You can turn him to the left and right a bit more, but so yeah, the visor, this range finder, does move. You can set it to the up and down if you want. I prefer up because, I, 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 apart from, I think it was in Slave 1, you see it? Now, I've got a couple of little bits here that, I'm, that I got with it. And I'm going to try and figure out where they go. But overall, I mean, this is a magnificent piece. You've got the little pouches in here. These are real. These are real. All of this cloth. and It's just a magnificent sculpt. It's a magnificent, magnificent piece. 
the leather, you know, you get the little rocket under there, the cape, oh, it's just, this is what Boba Fett deserves. So, I would definitely buy this piece again. I mean, I did buy it. And massive Boba Fett fan. I want to get uh, the prototype armor, but definitely, definitely worth a buy. And uh, so, let's just turn him around a bit. And I'm going to sort the cape out, so don't worry about that. And he's got his pouches, his jetpack. Oh, it's just such one of uh, this bit does come separate. You have to, there's a peg that you push in, so that's nice. And so, yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, this is going to go up with my snow trooper, and this is a oh, it's just a stunning piece. And uh, so, yeah, okay, so I've got all the bits, and those little bits you've got two go in this pouch, the knife and these sort of bits and then the other one goes that like that in that one overall I mean, i'm so impressed with this, this search and i've sort of a head down now for his height okay to the top of his uh gun is about the uh, rocket or helmet actually seems to be the top is i'd say you're gonna want 25 inches he's about 25 and a bit inches tall so Get yourself 26 to be safe, and a depth from one end of the thing to the other. He's wow, 15 inches. So a nice size statue. Well done, Sideshow. Well worth the money. Well worth it. Uh, so yeah, definitely, definitely worth getting. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching.